Thank you for joining me for this week's midweek prayer. I'm in St George's Church in Dean Pryor, and this week we celebrate Ascension Day. So as we are excited to share together in our sacred spaces again, we remember what it is for the divine to meet with earth. If you'd like to join in with today's prayers and liturgy, it's all in the description of this video. Or you might like to let it just flow over you as you listen. So let's start in our prayers together. O oh Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O oh Lord, I lift up my soul. And so we pray. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy. Sustain and support the anxious. Be with those who care for the sick and lift up all who are brought low, that we may find comfort knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. And so we take a moment to praise God. Blessed are you, Lord of heaven and earth. To you be glory and praise forever. From the darkness of death, you have raised to Christ to the right hand of your majesty on high. The pioneer of our faith, his passion accomplished, has opened for us the way to heaven and sends on us the promised spirit. May we be ready to follow the way and so be brought to the glory of his presence where songs of triumph forever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. We come to our reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, starting at verse 4. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. 
When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking upwards towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Thanks be to God. And so at this, the Feast of the Ascension, we see glimpses of the divine, heaven meeting the human, the divine sharing space with earth. We catch these glimpses even now, when the sunset takes our breath away or an unearned act of kindness greets us, when love breaks in, the divine wins. Love wins. And for those first disciples, this heavenly ascension might not have felt only awe-inspiring. It was the moment that they were left, sent onwards on their own, to wait for the moment that the divine would once again break in, this time never to leave again. But in that moment, as they looked upwards, in that moment, yet another in-between sort of time, they were left, unknowing, uncertain, with only hope. Hope. Faith in what we cannot see. Hope isn't platitudes or promises of prosperity, but a deep belief that we are held, that love will win, that we are never left alone. Heaven meets human, the divine dwelling on earth. We join with the waiting, with the uncertainty, but with hope of a God who came to meet us just as love demanded. A poem by Malcolm Geit called Ascension. We saw his light break through the cloud of glory, whilst we were rooted still in time and place, as earth became a part of heaven's story, and heaven opened to his human face. We saw him go, and yet we were not parted, he took us with him to the heart of things, the heart that broke for all the broken-hearted, is whole and heaven-centred now, and sings. Sings in the strength that rises out of weakness, sings through the clouds that veil him from our sight, whilst we ourselves become his clouds of witness and sing the waning darkness into light, his light in us and as in him concealed, which all creation waits to see revealed. And so we pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, you have exalted your Son, Jesus Christ, to your right hand and made him the head over all things for his body, the Church. Hear us as we pray for the church throughout the world. Make us and all your people receptive to the gifts he pours upon us, that we may use them to your glory and the building up of the body of Christ. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord God Almighty, the Ancient of Days, you have given your Son all authority in heaven and on earth. Hear us as we pray for the world he came to redeem.
Grant that we may know even in this time the things that make for peace and may strive for the reconciliation of all people in his kingdom of justice and love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father of all, whose Son has promised to be with us always, to the end of the age. Hear us as we pray for those among whom we live and work. that we may be so aware of his presence with us, that people may take note of us, that we have been with Jesus. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. O God, our Redeemer, whose Son ever lives to make intercession for us, hear us as we pray for those in any kind of need. May he who has borne our infirmities strengthen and heal them that they may find grace to help in time of need and rejoice in his salvation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, whose Son has borne our humanity into the heavenly realms and gone before us to prepare a place for us. Hear us as we remember before you those whose earthly sojourn is over and whose life is now hidden in him with you. Make us joyful and expectant, that at his coming with all his own, we too may go forth to meet him and share in his eternal joy. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen.
looking for the coming of his kingdom, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And so as we close our time together, let's pray the collect for today. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heavens, so we in heart and mind may also ascend and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And so in darkness and in light, in trouble and in joy, help us, Heavenly Father, to trust your love, to serve your purpose, and to praise your name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen.